Assalamu alaikum dear students I am your, your English teacher Omar Farooq I am you watching English with Umar So today we are going to discuss grade 11 the play a one act play progress So first of all let me clear you the title progress why the writer choose this title well we see there is no progress in the attitude of the characters the major characters, I mean two major characters, Mrs. Vanden and Professor Corey, from the very beginning till the end, they have the same attitude, same feelings, same motives. So this is the very apt technique of the writer that he chose this unique title, Progress. So uh, now coming to next, this is a one act play. So first of all, one act means one part. Act means parts. In play, in drama, there are different parts, different acts. So this is only one act play. Play in drama, there is a big difference. So let me clear you. Drama is basically written for the purpose of reading. Okay? While play, its main objective is to be performed on the stage. So this is brief distinction between play and drama. Let's come to types of play. I have noticed some of the types you can see here. One is fiction. Fiction, you can say whether in novel, in drama or play, it's a fabricated story. A man-made story based on imagination. In literature, in English literature, you have a lot of uh, plays, dramas, novels based on fictions, imaginative stories. Then comes to tragedy. Tragedy is a sort of serious story which has a very sad, pathetic, tragic ending. Mm, you can say uh, sometimes hero or the major figure or the protagonist character which is close to the heart of the writer as well as close to the heart of the uh, audience our uh, views he is killed he meets fall decline etc so next time to comedy comedy is type of play which has happy ending which has jolly ending that makes you please then comes to tragic comedy this is the mixture of both tragedy and comedy means there are different sort of incidents which are tragic one besides there are comic incidents as well so mixture of tragedy and comedy is called tragic comedy so next time try melodrama we are going to deal with this melodrama melodrama as i have noted here this play for example progress is an apt example of melodrama there are three main elements of melodrama, you can say. Uh, what? The first one is, it has a very short length. Not so short as a story, but shorter one, you can say. Then, there is suspense. So, uh, next item, next element is, sorry, killing of one person, major person, major character hero, heroine, etc. So these are the three elements of melodrama. So if we apply these three elements to progress, we can say that progress is a melodrama. It is only one act play. Its length is very short. Besides, there is suspense. We are from the very beginning in suspense. When Mrs. Melodon time and again, she begs his brother to give up his invention. She again and again talks about his son A.D. and his husband Tom. It makes, it makes Professor Corey and I, and we are in suspense whether he would be killing his sister or kicking her out. So, suspense is there. Then, killing of her person definitely. Mrs. Melden, in the end, she stabs his brother Professor Corey. So, according to these three elements, Progress can be said a melodrama. So now I'm going to 
some of the structural elements, uh, structure of play. So if you talk about the structure of the play, first thing, the one thing, the uh, first thing is called setting. Setting means time and place. Definitely, when there is a play, drama, a uh, novel, some place will be there, some time is there, season, time, etc. will be there. So time and place are called setting. Next is the scene. Scene, uh, view, you can say whether uh, when drama play is staged, curtain falls, then we can see uh, there is a room, uh, there is playground, there is market, there is plaza, or anywhere. So the view of that very play is called scene, where the play, where the act is being performed. Next come character. You are familiar with characters, as in stories, novels, drama, plays. Characters are the people who are participating, who are active in that very play. They are called characters. So if you talk about uh, one act play, it's seen in setting. You can say uh, Mrs. Meldon, she comes to visit her, uh, her brother, Professor Corey, whose lab laboratory. He is busy there. He is working with his destructive or horrible bomb. So scene is the setting of a laboratory. Uh, scene is the uh, scene is, is laboratory. Setting and scene you can say is laboratory, laboratory professor Corey. Then comes to characters, Mrs. Bandon. She is the sister of Professor Henry Corey, mother of Eddie, wife of Tom. There is a maid servant Hannah. There is a gardener Gage who gives, who prepares reek for the memorial of Eddie. And there are uh, no more characters you can say. So major characters are only Professor Henry Corey and Mrs. Meldon. And one maid servant participates for a little discussion. Mr. Hannah, Mrs. Hannah, Miss Hannah, you can say. Uh, then comes to dialogue. Dialogue is the discussion, discourse between the characters. Uh, because in the play, characters speak with one another, discuss with one another, and then we know about the play, what is going on through the discussion or discourse of the characters. This is called dialogue. Hope you are getting it. Next come to plot. Plot is the sequence of events in the play. One event, for example, the hero or heroine is born, grows young, does something extraordinary, reaches the climax, then falls down, etc. So, sequence of events is called plot. Next come to music. Here, music doesn't mean uh, blowing. Pipes, flutes, etc. Here, music means the tune, tune of the speakers. For example, uh, you can say whether the character is in aggressive mood, he is talking aggressively, angrily, or he is in jolly mood. This is his way of speaking, his tune, you can say music. Next comes the theme, the most important element. Theme is the central item, the essence, the central point of the play. So, if you come to progress, what is the theme? Definitely, anti war sentiments. And it is represented in the character of Mrs. Melvin, who is against the war, Professor Corey, who is in favor of war wants to make a horrible bomb and wants to destroy the whole nation within no, within no time. While Mrs. Madden says it's a very horrible thing, it's a destructive thing, it shouldn't be made. He, she, sorry, again and again, she again and again begs her brother to suppress, to give up his invention, but he doesn't. Then finally, she stabs him and this is the end of the play. 
So, hope you have got these elements, structure and brief introduction of this play progress. Inshallah, in the next video, we will have more interesting things. Subscribe, subscribe my channel and give your views and comments. Thank you all.